Look out China, the US Marine's stealthy new ship killer. Meet the Lrazim missile in all its glory. The Lrazim is the latest in a rash of newer, more lethal anti-ship weapons by several branches, but particularly by the US Navy and Marine Corps, prompted in part by what is perceived as aggressive Chinese force posture in the Pacific region, as well as the PLA Navy's increasing number of ships and so-called carrier killer weaponry. In February, the Navy and Air Force inked a contract with Lockheed Martin for the company's long-range anti-ship missile, also known as LRASM. The agreement, worth $414 million, is for the fourth and fifth lot of missiles and is the biggest LRASM contract in the history of the Lockheed Missile Program, reportedly totaling 137 missiles, training and logistics support, as well as additional LRASM support equipment. In the Lockheed Martin press release, David Helsel, the LRASM director at Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control explained that the Navy-slash-Air Force award reflects LRASM's increasing significance to our customers' missions. Focused teamwork around a shared vision with our customers and our dedicated supply partners remains key to this program's success. LRASM explained. The LRASM is a stealthy, ship-killing missile based partially off of the earlier JASSMER missile and uses a multimodal sensor suite, weapon data link, an enhanced digital anti-jam global positioning system to discriminate specific targets among groups of ships. It can receive targeting updates via a data link in real-time, or use its onboard sensors to find targets. Lockheed explains that the advanced missile is specifically designed to seek and destroy specific ships sometimes on its own in highly contested electronic warfare environments that could see GPS signals degraded and where surveillance and reconnaissance would be difficult to conduct or unreliable. The LRASM is the latest in a rash of newer, more lethal anti-ship weapons by several branches, but particularly by the US Navy and Marine Corps, prompted in part by what is perceived as aggressive Chinese force posture in the Pacific region, as well as the PLA Navy's increasing number of ships and so-called carrier killer weaponry. If you like this video, hit the notification button for more news. Thank you for watching.